Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I feel like I'm doing a loop op video here. You can just see my hands, but instead of uh, looking at a piece of gear, we're going to look at a tune, Caravan, from Duke Ellington and Juan Tizol. It's a super tune for talking about the octatonic scale, the half step, whole step, diminished scale, as we use it in dominant chords, especially in jazz. You'll also hear it in rock, you hear it everywhere. Super useful scale. This shouldn't take too long to talk about, but it does, I'll warn you, take a while to integrate into your playing and understanding. Well, that said, let's dive in. <laughs> Do you know this melody? I usually play it a little bit differently from the way um, it is in the, the, the music that I have up on the screen. So you just heard me go, do uh, G flat, E, F minor. Well, that whole open, almost the whole opening A section is C7, isn't it? And C7 is the five of our key signature, F minor. Well, that five chord, C7, is a really excellent opportunity for us to explore the octatonic scale as used on dominant chords. And I'll just review briefly. There's my C7, root, third, seventh. And I'm going to play the root, flat nine, sharp nine, major third, raised four, five, six, flat seven, and then I'm back to one. That's an eight note scale. It's got the root, this is so cool, right? The third, the fifth, and the seventh built right in. And for that reason, it's an excellent scale to use for dominant chords because of the extensions and added tones. In fact, the added tones are, are in a way, the most exciting part of it because it's got a flat nine, a sharp nine, oh my goodness, there's the Lydian tone, the raised four, and a nice bright 13th, or you could think of it as the sixth. So those tones are super spicy against that chord, right? And what it means is when you're playing Caravan, you've got this excellent scale at your disposal for that dominant chord. That is one of the three half-step, whole-step scales that kind of exist in our 12-tone system. The half-step, whole-step, or diminished scale, as sometimes it's called, is a symmetrical scale. It really just has two intervals, the half-step and then the whole-step, and then the half-step and then the whole-step, and then that, you get the idea, right? What that means, if I begin on um, D-sharp, I'm going to get exactly the same order of tones, the same tones, half-step, whole-step, you see it's the same notes, and on and on and on. and I can do it also on G flat, and I can do it on A. The same set of tones, the same eight notes work for the C7, E flat 7, G flat 7, and A7 chords. We've got three half step, whole step, diminished scales. There's one that begins on um, C sharp or D flat. Half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step. And it serves the dominant chords that appear on these roots in the same way that we saw earlier. And then we also have a, a final one that begins on D. Half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step. It serves the dominant chords that appear on those four roots. Well, that's super because suddenly all you have to learn are three scales and you've got great sounding scales for a bunch of dominant chords. Woo! So much fun, right? Well, you get into the B section of the tune and wow, we've got really like right around the circle of fifths, four dominant chords in a row. 
it does go to the major nine in the melody, so you got to be careful about using an octatonic scale there. It does the same thing here again. It starts on the major nine, down to the major nine. And this E flat seven goes to the major nine. I love the resolution to A flat six there. Well, Ellington and Tissol were definitely, I think, thinking about, you know, kind of North African music and that kind of what uh, some people call the uh, double harmonic minor. Uh, there's that kind of complicated half-step, whole-step relationship around the tonic. And there's a number of ways to get there. But for my money, the use of the octatonic scale, the symmetries of it, the flexibility of it, the ambiguity of it, 